It was a bombshell in court today. One of San Diego's most popular and outspoken mayors admitting to a massive gambling habit. Maureen O'Connor says a brain tumor caused her to make those bad decisions that sent her to the poorhouse and could have sent her to prison. We have team coverage on this story, beginning with 10 News reporter Allison Ash, who has the former mayor's tearful apology. Allison. Yeah, Maureen O'Connor appeared right over there in federal court today where an elaborate plea deal was revealed. The former mayor is charged with misappropriating funds to support her gambling addiction. Looking frail and walking with the help of her attorney and a cane, former San Diego Mayor Maureen O'Connor walked toward the federal courthouse to face the music. In court, where cameras are not allowed, we learned O'Connor wrote checks from her late husband's charitable foundation to herself, totaling more than $2 million. And if that wasn't strange enough, we learned her bizarre behavior may have been caused by a brain tumor. It's very, very uh, common with brain tumors uh, to have your personality change and do things that you normally under any circumstances wouldn't do. It wasn't that long ago O'Connor was a wealthy woman married to the founder of Jack in the Box. He died and left her the fortune that she lost over the past decade. O'Connor won more than a billion dollars at casinos from Las Vegas to Atlantic City and she was often spotted at local casinos. Her game of choice, video poker. Although she won often, she lost even more. Net loss is $13 million. That's enough, don't you think? Attorney Eugene Iredale says his client is now destitute, and he praised prosecutors for working out a plea deal that allows her to stay out of prison and... It will ensure that she is obligated by court order to repay over $2 million that was wrongfully taken and was, in fact, destined to go to charity. O'Connor says since her brain tumor was removed, she no longer has the desire to gamble. And the once beloved mayor asked San Diegans to continue to believe in her. And I think most of you that know me here would know that I never meant to hurt the city of Florida. O'Connor returns here tomorrow. She'll be fingerprinted by federal marshals. If she stays away from gambling, if she starts to pay restitution within two years' time, then those charges against her will be dropped. We're live downtown. Allison Ash, 10 News.